Sir, tell us how do we convey message to Christians, to Jews or Hindus, vice versa. What is the way? I say this is the way. <clears throat> See, if the guy is full of wisdom, you cannot convince him through these verses of Quran because these are a touch of spiritualism. You have to go through materialistic door to open his heart and get reasoned with him. Quran. Why don't they ponder Quran with critical care? Had it been from anyone other than Allah, you would have found there in much discrepancy. Then you have found there is contradictions. This is Surah An-Nisa chapter 4 verse 82. So this is what Allah is saying that you have to ponder. Now ponder, you have to have the knowledge. Allah mentioned about the waves, about embryology, about cosmic balance. If you don't know anything about cosmology, how would you understand what Sama Rafa'a al Mizan and all of the heavens are plunged into cosmic balance? How would you know these things? I'm asking my Muslim brothers, or especially those students who are just you know studying from madrasas. How would you cope up these verses to these all Western people? Is Islam only constricted in madrasas or is it only made for few selected people? of the community of those madrasas or only one language language is the tool prophet says that the best weapon is the enemy's weapon you against you use against him in the strategy so this today's weapon is language english language i'm not saying that you start learning english but at least the science the scientific knowledge must be there no background knowledge of science i'm not criticizing anyone Please mark my words. I sit to ulamas myself. I love those people and I'm from the community. I'm not the person who just speak like one man show. So we do everything under the umbrella of ulamas. Alhamdulillah. But where is the problem? You have to say. You cannot keep quiet and see things. Remember that. Open your mouth. Anything can be rectified. Anything can be reprimanded. Nobody is picture perfect except prophets. So everything must be done under to the way of right <coughs> decisions, decision making, teamwork. There's no one man show in Islam. Prophet says there is no Islam without Jamaat. There is no Islam. Remember that Islam comes with congregation. Islam comes with the people and together Islamic Ummah rose and together Islamic Ummah will rise. This is what we owe to ourselves. So debates, what debates you have to do with these people who are jadala, who wants confrontation. They don't listen to the message of Quran. Tell them to bring your exhibits, bring your proof. Let's see and let's reason together and see where the truth lies. For Christians, for example, talk only on fundamental topics. Do not go beyond fundamental topics. Is Jesus God? Prove it from your Bible. Crucifixion, is it real or not? Prove it from your Bible. Is the Bible God's word? Prove it from your Bible. Original sin, prove it from your Bible. On and on. The catechism or the doctrine of the dogma of Christendom, only those topics must be dealt. All other sidetracks, we are not interested in your history, what the, what the historian said, what that, that particular contem contemporary history said. This is not the point here. The point discuss what matters you have in your Bible because Allah says Kul hatu burhanukum. Ask them their proof and exhibits and the testaments translation in English is also exhibit is one of the synonyms. So please don't waste our time. Talk about fundamentals. You will see where the truth lies.